Hey guys, welcome back to Tweeting Goku. I'm your host, Lindsay. And I'm David. And I'm sick. But <laughs> I'm still here because I just love this show so much. Yeah, don't worry that uh, Lindsay's not appearing on uh, Gumpa TV for a while. She hasn't been totally replaced by Scott. But, um, <laughs> he, he volunteered for me today because my voice is kind of going in and out. But anyways, we have an awesome show for you today because we have the brand new, newly released Guardian from Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I love this game. I so do I. played it right up to before the big boss fight at the end because I didn't want to finish it. <laughs> and I, um, you've played it as well. I played so we're it. both familiar with the terror that this this thing brings, that yeah. music that comes on when you, when you when it accidentally locks onto you. find it on the field. <laughs> yeah, there um it's cool because it's also got that familiar scene. Um, yes, it's game got the game over scene. So we'll be playing with that later. Yeah. And uh, we'll also be giving away um, Gwendolyn. Yes, at, at the, the end, end of the show. show. And so stay tuned for that, as well as how, how you can win, win this. the Guardian. Yeah. Um, just one thing. We have been gone a while, but that was because, um, well, before this episode, we were gone a while. Yeah. Because... Uh, of Obon, which is a Japanese holiday. Right, so we skipped a week right before the Kasumi episode appeared yeah. because of the Obon holidays in Japan. So, sorry so don't worry. For that. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, crack into this bad boy. Yep. So here he is, Nendroid Link. Oh, wait. That's not what we're reviewing. That's not even the right game. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, lame jokes aside, there he is, the Guardian. So first let's take a look at his box real quick. So there's not much to it. The background is just plain gray. Okay, so here you can see him. Just battle damage version there from the underside straight on. This is the uh, Nendoroid Breath of the Wild Link, which is getting re-released next month. So we cannot show him off today, unfortunately. Uh, the reason he's on the box is because this guy a, comes with his bow, bow right here. Yeah, there we go. You can just see it. But. So if you have this Dendroid Link, you can use it with the bow. You could probably use it with something else, but uh, just make sure it's compatible. And then this is hilarious. He comes with a game over screen because, of course, if you see a guardian on the field in Breath you're of the Wild, dead. you're probably <laughs> going to die. Especially if two of them get you at once. Yeah. There's a close-up look at it, but we'll look at it more uh from the actual yeah, figure. Cool. So I've brought on our little, uh, what should we call this, sacrifice? Yeah. <laughs> so this is my dun, my Nendroid dun. Link uh, from Majora's Mask. I've got his bunny hood on there, but he's not the star of the show. He's just the target practice. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, let's take him out of the box. Cool. So. Right off the bat, we see an effect part. This is the, the cool like laser explosion from his eye. We've got an extra eye here. And then the man himself. Oh, I get Lots it. of so protective pieces here. This one's for the actual explosion. So the right, the laser in there, yeah. goes in there. Um, all the protective plastic for shipping. And there he is. This so, is feet moves. <laughs> of course they do, it's good smile. Mm. So as you can see, his legs have some nice posability. Um, there's a few joints in here, including the tiny little claw. Aren't they cute? They're cute. They're actually pretty cute. I think uh, the claw on the end. Next can time you see this in swivel. the game, you're definitely gonna die because you're gonna be like, <laughs> oh, look how cute. But yeah, so the arms come off easily because you can show him dying as he does in the game when you slowly beat him down and they just easily pop back on. Of course, he doesn't need a stand because he can easily balance on his six legs and then you can, you know, pose one of them up if you like. I'm sure you're going to have some fun at, like posing this guy around the room, just crawling over things and trying to kill you. Of course, uh, in addition Power to the moves. arms, the head, head. swivels. <laughs> all the way around because he's got to be as terrifying as possible. This midsection swivels as well. Pretty cool. And the colors really pop. Um, the eye is just beautiful. Yeah, the it's got a bit of um, sh shininess to it. 
so that it stands out against the kind of matte finish of the normal plastic. And let's get this laser effect going, huh? Yeah. So we've got, here's the extra bow, which we're not gonna be using today. And, and then that's the, the laser. There is a stand in here, but this is not for the Nendroid. It's for the game over screen. So I've noticed some parts here that I haven't got the red on it. Is that normal in the game? Is it because it he, shimmers? He, no, no, he lights up red. So they're kind of showing him like half red. Half red, okay. So it comes with this simple, just slide in slit for the game over screen. And as you can see, it's made with translucent plastic. So you can, so you can in pose him in front of Link as he dies. <laughs> So let's see that um, explosion effect then. Yes. Okay, so the eye goes into this blaster or thing, and then that pops in there, am I right? Yeah. So his head's gonna come apart in half here. I'm just gonna slowly shimmy it out. And then the eye oh, it fits into well. this little socket so that it can move. So it just pops in. Yeah. So you can control the direction the eye is facing by opening up the half side of the head and swiveling it from the back with this peg right here. So it looks really creepy. Mm. Look at that, beautiful. All right, so let's get them back together. And you'll be able to swivel that around even when the head's closed because obviously this can dig in and you can Right. It. So there it is. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. It's and amazing. like David said, you can change the direction easily when the eye has this laser piece in it because you obviously have a stick in there to move it. One thing I'd be careful of is um, pushing that down against his leg and this snapping off. But, yeah. Push him up. Let's get him balanced, there we go. <laughs> Link looks a little happy about that game yeah. over. So do you think um, it's possible to attach these to non-Game of the World Nendroid? Like you also need the arrow, and the arrow comes oh, with sure. the Nendroid um, Breath of the Wild link. So what are we trying to say? Be sure to get them both. Yes. <laughs> so as we mentioned, this guy's out now oh. and... Dead. dead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So as we mentioned, um, Guardians out now and Nendroid Link Breath of the Wild reissue comes out next month. So be sure to get them together so you can uh, kill your poor Link off in, <laughs> in the correct way. Yeah. Shall we um, have a go at trying to kill this guy? <laughs> I mean, what can you do? You just, do you just take off the uh, legs? Is that how um, you can make him dead? Can I you mean, take off this top part? You can't, can you? The legs will come off uh, depending on where you hit him, but there are several weapons you can use to uh, kill him. Um, the best one is, I think, the arrows that come with this yeah. bow. Um, but they're very expensive, um, so you got to stockpile those up. Mm. And then you, you can like you know hit him in the eye, etc. There are several ways to kill them, it's just not easy. But yeah, that is pretty much all to it. Obviously a great addition to uh, anyone's Nendroid collection, especially someone who enjoys Breath of the Wild, like we do. Grab him at hlj.com. <laughs>
So that was the terrifying but delightful guardian from Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little uh, video at the end of our, <laughs> our showcase because uh, we used some of the sounds from the actual game in that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think we've got to first give away our yes. beautiful Gwendolyn figure. I am gonna. Be, I am really sad to see this go. <laughs> we did like a showcase so this sorry. morning in the office, and yeah. Lindsay showed this off, and I don't know. It, people were just looking at it with just awe. It's it's up there with one of my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> and you should see their earlier Gwendolyn, who's even bigger. Yeah, I mean, if they've done the same detail with their wings, then that'd be good. <laughs> but anyways, so my voice is about to go, so I'm gonna go you ahead better get and on tell with you this. guys the winner of Gwendolyn from Odin Sphere, and that goes to Nova, who said, I've been eyeing this figure since it was first announced. The wings are amazing. Time to dust off my PS2 and play some Odin Sphere. Cool, well. Thank you very much. I've got to, I think I've got to play some of these you games do. that we mentioned, because I feel guilty that half the stuff that we showcase, you know, I haven't really had any experience with. These games are just so kind of timeless because they have their own style and they're 2D kind of side scrollers. Yeah. So it, it doesn't have that feeling of like the the 3D era that w when it was first coming out where it just aged very quickly. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, games like this are awesome. Oh, of course. Well, Breath of the Wild will be amazing for years to yeah. come, I'm sure. But some of the old 3D games, like, did you ever play PS2 games when they were just starting to get 3D? <laughs> did you know, and we're, we're just branching off a little bit here, but Time Splitters is going to come back. Oh my god, really? Yeah, they're making it again. Um, so, or rather, a company that often remakes games bought the rights. So you've got that, that to look forward to. I'm sure we'll be getting some... Uh, figures related to that if it does oh. get re-released. Well, um, as you know, I'm a big uh, Tales fan. Yeah. So Tales of the Abyss came out on the PS2 back in like 2006, 2005, depending on America yeah. or Japan release times. They're going to re-release so it. It's, no, it's, it's very dated. Um, I still love it, but mm. you can tell the 3D graphics yeah. really need to be uh, spruced up. So I really hope that they do like a remaster of that someday. They're doing a remaster of Tales of Asperia this year, but it already looked good, so I don't think it needed it. But, but well, there's a lot more to it than just the graphics because American fans for the first time are getting content that was only available in, in Japan. Japan. So anyways... Did you did you play the Japanese Of version? course. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't <laughs> miss out on anything. Yeah. But anyways, so that's very exciting for the Vesperia fans. But yeah. anyways, so how can they win the Nendoroid Guardian? Well, David? so they need to comment on this episode on hobbylink.tv. And the link, if you're watching on YouTube, will be down below. And if you're watching on hobbylink.tv, then just go down to the bottom and comment. Right. And we'll choose one at random. Lindsay will do it from her phone, and hey presto, you will get this awesome Guardian, and we'll package it up again nicely, yep. and of Ship course it, it will be you. as good as new, because Lindsay's handling it, and <laughs> I'm not. So if it does break, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to comment on the hobbylink.tv episode. We of course welcome all of your comments on YouTube as well, but that is not how you enter to win. No. But um, please also, subscribe. Yes, be sure please to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And hit that bell so that you actually get notifications for when our new episodes come out and then you can always enter to win the new contest. Yeah. We uh, we are gonna become the top number one YouTube oh, channel. Oh, okay. In two thousand and we we better start <laughs> like, you know, doing some controversial uh, content, content as well. Yes. <laughs> Coming soon. Anyway, with that said Let's wrap it up. Yep. And uh, we'll see you again next time. So, yep. Goodbye. And you can find us on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, oh, or Instagram. And links to all of those are on hlj.com. See you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.